Collins for interviewing Felicia Simmons, who is running for mayor in Asbury Park on November 8th. What good things did you do before you thought about becoming a mayor? Um, well, that says, you know, I've done a lot of good things. Um, people do a lot of good things, but I've I served on the school board for two terms. Um, I was a youth missionary when I was your age. Um, I think that's where I met your mom. Um, and let's see, I, I helped found um, Asbury Park Affordable Housing Coalition. It, the first meeting was in my living room. Um, a lot of things. What impact will you make when you become a mayor, American? Well, a mayor or a mayor? When I become mayor, um, it's the city I like to um, When I become mayor, there's so many great things. First of all, I'll make sure that the city stays affordable for everybody living in it. That means addressing uh, rent control issues, um, taxation issues, um, just affordable so we can stay here. Then we can address um, the violence um, in town. Um, we, we have to address the possibilities of people living safely throughout the entire town. So you can have a place to grow up safe and don't have to worry about violence. Why do some people that live in Asbury Park pay their fair share of taxes to the school system, but others don't? What will you do to address this situation to make it fair? Well, first we have a um, we have tax payments, unfair tax payments, and when we address the city. Um, when the city made these rules and policies, they weren't thinking about the school district in mind. They were thinking about that there are a lot of money coming in from the state. But when we, if you're a responsible adult, you have to take care of your household. Um, you can't give out any more tax payments. You can't give out any more um, um, uh, in, lay of, in lieu of um, taxes. The city receives the taxes that don't go to the school district. And places like Jersey City, who had these same 30-year tax abatement, have paid back to the school district. We have to make sure that we take care of our most important and vulnerable people, and that's you, the children. Thank you. <clears throat> why are you going to? What are you going to foster activities? Why are you going to foster activities for kids? Like, what are you going to do? Oh, this is great things, and you know. Um, Hopefully bring back this really great community center that I grew up in. And again, that's where I met your mom. Um, tell you, right? um, we grew up and found God and we did great things in that place. And provided a safe place um, to go. Then educational um, tools with partnerships throughout the city. Then also great, great partnerships with businesses and other things that are just waiting to come into the city if they had the avenue. Right, to give you hope in, in, in the future, right? Make sure that you have um, these dreams that you can accomplish because there's nothing you can do. And especially from Asbury, we're a little bit different, right? We, we, we got a great working, creative mentality coming from the city. And I want to make sure that we have all these great things for you. There are stores opening up in the town that most people that live here can't afford to shop in. What are your ideas to attract stores that are geared towards Asbury families? All right, so what geared towards Asbury, we actually have to promote um, business from Asbury on, right? We have to um, foster our entrepreneurship, right? So, so people like you who say you want to sell necklaces or um, make candles or cook things, you know, provide an avenue for you and your parents to, um, to have and open up stores that benefit the community, right? That's important. We have, we're homegrown. We have such great opportunities here, right? Being, you know, the place, only only um, place in Monmouth County where these grants can exist, right? So we have to go out and get these grants and make sure that they benefit the people here and create places, right? We have an opportunity to create these things ourselves instead of outsourcing, right? It's great to have people come in and build and pour into your community, but it's even better for you to facilitate the dream of your community. Okay. What are you going to do about crime? Oh, that's a that's a multi that's that's a, a deep question. But first is, um, in the last the increase in the last twelve years of crime, you can tell from the dysfunction of um, the great place um, like the West Side Police. 
see it pick up, but since and the young people don't have a place to go, there we have huge um, unemployment rates here in town. We, we, we don't foster, so when you're idle, like, you know, your mom probably said devil's hand is idle, you know, idle workshop or something like that, when you don't have anything to do, you cause mischief. Right, so first is snatch these young people, right? Take these young people and like yourself and give them something to do. Show them that there's value in them and, and, and their future, right? Then we're gonna address crime and, you know, we gotta work on the drug issue to make sure that's not a problem. Um, we gotta make sure that we, we work on um, how we criminalize people, right? How they get processed, how they go to jail. There's just so many different things, but then again, Right, we have to address the fact that we are unsafe. So work on the cameras, right? That's the immediate. Right, work on on, on uh, the policing in town. So we actually trust the police and we want them to be part of the community. All these great things. Okay, that is all the questions for today. Thank you so much for asking your questions, Ms. Lester.